Hey guys, thanks for joining me. As you can hear, I just got the Grunau 654 playing again. And uh, I've got the uh, bias cell configuration done as well. I'll share that. You can see the uh, bias voltage there to the 6Q7, negative 1098. That's about spot on looking at the schematic itself. Anyway, without an alignment, the uh, old receiver here is playing pretty well. As you can see, I've got a 50 watt, 25 ohm resistor. Uh, of course, the fuse and a CL90 in here as well, just to uh, drop the voltage a little bit and stop that inrush uh, voltage. Again, you can see the uh, connection back to the old bias cell, some wires going back on top, and the bias voltage negative uh, 1093. Let me show you what I did on top. I don't have a battery in here. This is where old technology meets new technology. So there's a look at my solution. You guys can see I've got a, a little small miniature solar cell and it's attached there in close proximity to the dial lamp itself. Should the dial lamp go out, of course, we'll lose the uh, bias voltage. No battery to worry about. I had some of these left over from um, a little Arduino project, so I thought I would just give it a try and see. Seems to be working uh, perfect for this. I do have one other problem. You can see the surround itself is a little bit loose and I also noticed on this loudspeaker, I might be able to actually share this on camera and you may be able to see it. I think this speaker was made this way from the factory or whoever put it together. The cone or the voice coil itself, I should say, is rubbing the center pole piece. I've got a bigger gap on this side versus this side. I just put some shims in there earlier and I'm getting, it's very tight on this side, loose on this side with some shims. So I may try to loosen up the entire uh, surround, put some shims in and see if I can shift this over. Let me see if I can cut this up for a moment and you'll hear some of the distortion. get that cut back down but you probably heard some of the distortion possibly that there's definitely some rubbing of the uh, voice coil so I need to uh, tackle that situation I'm kind of nervous in doing so because this thing's in such good shape I'd hate to take a chance and mess up the uh, cone and have it fall apart on me anyway the little Grinnell 654 she's playing again and it seems to be aligned really well the way I found. And you can see the uh, bias voltage there for the 6Q7 is still uh, steady as a rock. My heater and filament voltages, uh, even with the dropping resistor and the CL90, are still within 10% uh, of where they should be. So uh, no, no concerns there. Thanks for watching this quick update. You guys take care. Stay well.